I designed this Alfa Romeo concept during my Blender Advanced Car Design course. I started from a single sketch. Let me show you the sketch. Here we go. So I did this single sketch side view. I like the proportions. I like the theme. I like like I was able to imagine the surfaces. So I wanted to put it on 3D and that is the result on 3D. So even if you are against AI, I'm pretty sure you will find this version useful because I will not even change my design. So you can use AI to also develop your presentation skills. Basically, even if I like the car here, I don't like the render much. I like the surfaces and I like the reflections and so on. That was the whole point of my Blender Advanced Car Design course. But the background, the environment, nothing is so interesting. But I spent around 10 minutes on it on Photoshop Generative Fill and it became like this. So basically they are the same, the raw render and the edited version. Render, edited version. It would be very painful to try to make this background and everything in 3D. And most probably I wouldn't use whole things as 3D models. I would try to search for the images and so on. Instead, with Photoshop Generative Fill, I brought it to this level. But that's not even the point of this video. This thing I will explain in another video. I imported this render into Viscom, which is the sponsor of today's video. If you don't know Viscom, basically it is an AI platform which boosts your creativity and design process. You can import your sketches, 3D renders, 3D screenshots, or you can directly sketch in it to develop your designs further and achieve very nice images at the end. So this is Viscom here. What I wanna do is I want to explore different styles for this car, for this image, for this rendering in general. And if I wanna do it normally, I would again, one by one, change the color of the car or maybe change the background again and render these things again. So it would take time and effort, but I wanna do it also in an artistic way. If you are from industry, if you're a car designer, you know pretty well, or if you're a car design student, probably you also heard about it, that most of the official design sketches, not all of them, but most of them, especially the ones with amazing correct proportions and ultra realistic everything, but it's a sketch, they are generally based on 3D models, 3D renders or photos. Of course, there are also some real sketches from the design process, but these press sketches for the media are generally based on something to keep the design 100% correct with the sketch to not mislead people. I think that's the reason behind it. So maybe I wanna create something like that for my presentation, or maybe I wanna just add some more artistic approach. But before finalizing, before spending my hours, maybe I wanna see some different colors and different vibes for my sketch. Okay, enough talking. I just directly show you what I wanna do today. I will change the style from Viscom General to Automotive Exterior. I will pick four images because I have the pro subscription, but you can also try Viscom for free. You will have only one image each time, but of course you have unlimited times to use this. So again, if you are new, go to viscom.ai to try it yourself. All right, we need a prompt. What is the prompt? I will say concept supercar next to the ocean. I will decrease the drawing influence around 95 to hit generate to see the first results. This will be totally surprising. I don't know what I will get. It might be different colors. It might be not exactly what I have in my mind. So after seeing these results, I'm gonna show you one more thing that you will have more control. And by the way, this is a small, tiny part of my AI for car design course. So if you are a beginner, if you are scared of AI, I go step by step from zero level to show you everything I use from AI for car design. You can see the details on my website. Let's see those results. The first one is interesting gradient from black to red. The second option is totally black. For example, this is interesting already. So I can add it to my layers to come back later if I want to use it. The next one is a bit more like this. What is this color? Like a copper color, but not exactly. And I like there's a gradient of body color a little bit on the window. So this is also pretty cool. Honestly, I'm going to add it as well. And the last one is also black. So I like the first one more, so I'm just gonna stop it. So if I just turn off my layers here to come back to the original one, I can generate again and again until finding some interesting render style. But already we have two, like what if this was the scenario, I can use this style or maybe this one. But what if I wanna be more specific? Like I generated this car in mid journey just by text to prompt and my goal was to have some blue car with dark background because I wanted to use it as a reference for my sketch style for my own design. So on Viscom, I can go back to the original one. I can add a reference image here. So I edit this blue car as a reference. I will drop the influence to 50%. I will keep the influence of my car 100% and I will hit generate. So hopefully I'm gonna get some blue 
uh, like blue image, basically blue car and maybe more colder background, hopefully a bit more darker background and more sketch style. Let's see. All right, that's the first one. Pretty cool. Kind of like what I want. Ooh, this is better actually. Like I like the car here, but I like the background on the second one. I like this on the right side. We have kind of like a sunset type of thing, but the car is a bit exaggerated here. This is also not bad. It made the black. The whole side part is still the black now. It was not what I wanted on my design, but it can also inspire me for, you know, giving me another idea like this teardrop shape here. Not so bad, honestly. And the fourth one is, it's also nice, but I think my favorite is the car from the first one and the background from the second one. So I'm gonna add first one and the second one to my layers. And on the second one, I'm gonna get my eraser on the top layer, lower opacity, bigger size, maybe something like that, maybe a bit bigger size. And I will start erasing the body of the car. So I'm keeping the background from one of the images and the car from the bottom layer starts to appear. I don't know if you are hearing the mouse clicks, but I'm not even using my tablet. I do this by mouse and let's see how it looks. So this was the previous background. This is the second background. Maybe also the front side from the other background is nice. So here I can also get a even bigger eraser with lower opacity, maybe the softer one. Maybe I can add some of this background here too. And here we go. I think it is pretty cool. It is not perfect. Of course, there are some changes, but my design is more or less there. Let me show you. I will just merge down this layer so I can turn off and turn on. This is the original render and you can see my design, my reflections on my design. The surfacing is quite similar. I think it's even the same with the blue one as well. There are some mistakes like here after the shot line, I wouldn't like my front area to be like that different color. But these kind of things are always manageable on Photoshop. Like this saves me multiple hours. And it's not only that, like I can try it again. I can generate different versions of this card, just like we did here. Maybe I can experiment further this kind of colors, or maybe it's only the black car. I can even change the background to also darker vibes to create some type of mysterious design sketch. You know, as a designer, I can refine this image further on Photoshop, of course. And even in Viscom, I can do a lot more things. And that's what I cover on my AI for car design course. And I'm really excited about this topic because it's here. And when I see comments that people are against AI, it really makes me feel awkward about it because why? I made a recent video about can you use AI for your design portfolio as a design student? And of course there were some negative comments and positive comments as well. But what gave me the confidence, what approved what I said was one single comment from design director of Aston Martin. Like I saw this notification from Miles Nuremberger, well said to my video, which means he approves what I said. And he is Aston Martin director of design. And it made my day because it's not the first time I hear this from other professional designers. We share the same idea about AI for car design, but online you might hear a lot of negative things. So if you already watched this video until here, probably it shows that you are interested in AI. So don't miss that. Don't get affected by all the negativity or like no mindset, like no to new technology type of things. I'm not saying it's a magic or something, but AI is here, it's important, it's helpful. So just take advantage of it. And if you are curious about the video that I mentioned, can you use AI in your portfolio? You can watch it right here. Don't forget to check out my AI for car design course and see you in the next video.